What is up, you beautiful human being? Today I'm gonna be reacting to Fear in episode 4 and 5. Let's just jump straight into it. If you like my anime reactions, hit the like button, subscribe for more Fear and Beyond Journeys, and hit the notification bell. Let's jump straight into it. Let's go. Okay, here we go. So, I mean, last time I had a friend tell me that I'm being too hard on Fear and and I do understand it's because I'm watching so many crazy animes the whole time. You know, like Castlevania from yesterday, Jujutsu Kai and that you know there's different levels to it obviously so i'm gonna chill and i'm gonna use this almost as a cool off series and see where it goes because that's the question does this anime have what it takes to become one of the best out there we did see last time that she beat quail i think or qual qual he was one of the demon emissaries i think that's what they called him finn is so much taller than her now like i was saying the last time i'm not sure what where the series is headed we see this little tidbits of this and that but what is it all leading towards is it just going to be like this all the way through where it's sort of this discovery piece or is this just building us up for something incredible and they're kind of like lulling us to sleep and then boom hit you with something big but let's see what happens it's winter already so yeah it's it's obviously been some time since the last episode where we left off she looked sick or something was i not saying that it's almost like fern is becoming the adult now and she literally has to take care of freerun who's like even though she's so old is like a kid in many senses so they're just doing this right they're clearing the beach you're actually a very sloppy person. I'm practically your mother. I said it. Is that the first Mystic Mike predi prediction for the day? Given up hope. So she's obviously been there before. <laughs> yeah, because she's sleeping. Finally done. What is this bubble? Oh, she's checking the water quality. This guy was probably young when she was first there. I just need to stay up all night. Oh my gosh. Why doesn't she just get Fern to wake her up? Oh, so she was there. Because <laughs> he drank too much. But she fell asleep anyways. Why not just wake her up? Oh, she actually did. This is what I was saying. I wonder if there are any other elves left, you know? Because, I mean, this is what? The fourth episode, we still don't know much. That would be incredible. But now that I think about it, I remember before I kept talking the land where souls rest. Well, remember, I kept talking about how, you know, this whole show is always about time, 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 time. So I wonder if it's just going to get to a point where Fern's an old woman and then Freerun just moves on, meets other people. Like, is the characters that she meets really that significant in the show? Like, we look at Fern and we're like, OK, cool. Here's someone that's going to that's going to be part powerful or whatever but maybe it's just someone on the journey <laughs> corrupt priest what so he's there 28 years after the death of him okay i'm here to hang out 30 years it's interesting because remember her and the demon were like oh a mere 80 years vol basin okay so are we gonna find out how old she is remember in the very beginning of the show there was a quote from the flam flammer legendary mage so i wonder if we're gonna be finding out more about that mage and who they were <laughs> oh 
remember he was saying his favorite is sour grapes but even as an old dwarf he's still so strong like he picked up the whole boulder the way she flies or just like levitates is insane conversing with the dead so first Haito was talking about the resurrection and immortality spells which turned out to be false or fake now they're talking about conversing with the dead which is interesting after a thousand years is that her master oh my gosh she got trained by the legendary mage okay so this is why she knew that most of the stuff written was fake <laughs> oh yes that's what she said in the first episode oh so this is where she's telling her to go End. Wow. Okay, so we're going to some crazy lands. I wonder how they actually beat him. Because they couldn't even beat the other, the normal demon. So how were you able to beat, like, the demon king? Oh, here yeah, it is. The northernmost end of the continent. But somehow they got the victory with no one dying. Unless we find out that there was someone else, maybe, who journeyed with them, but I don't think so. One hundredth of my life. Wow. So what's that? If it was 50 years... Oh no, they... It was 10 years, right? So what is she? A thousand years old, if I'm mathing correctly. <laughs> Aizen looks like an old man at this point. Ten years to get there. That's what I'm trying to say. You know? Is it not that Fern is just going to become an old woman? You know? Okay, so that was episode 4. As we know, I don't need to dive into it. Very slow. It's very much just for the story at this point. But they are heading to Ender, the northmost part of the continent, to where the Demon King's castle was. Because that's where they're going to be looking for Aureola. So she can speak to him or... Going to be very interesting to see how that plays out. And if anything happens along the way, let's just jump into episode 5. It's also interesting because, like, it's also interesting because it seems like they're walking on a land, right? But they're speaking of heaven. So, like, are all these type of realms sort of just, you can kind of walk to them? You know, like, you would imagine that the Demon King's castle is, like, hell. But you can kind of just travel there. And then you've got this Oriola place, which is, you know, heaven. But you can kind of just journey there. So, I, I'm sure there's, there's an underlying not theory but everything that this is built off of and the only way to really find it out is to watch and then at the end you'll go oh so this is what this whole journey was about it's been half of my life you know phantoms of the dead i'll haunt you after i'm dead wow corrupt priest a bunch of people have gone missing on the way to the mountain park. Okay, so I think we're going to get a bit of action now. Yeah, so what they were saying was they're going to have to be traveling to, through the mountain pass. And there's ghosts there, but people have gone missing. Okay, interesting. So could it not just be human beings? wow okay so my theory was it's just human beings who were like you know bandits normally do those types of things it's like they rob people kill people and then it's like oh it's the work of ghosts like you would be so fit if like you lived in times like this where it's mainly walking and now and then it's like horse and cart but you're just constantly walking you really wouldn't have to do any other type of exercise there are signs of magic use here. Interesting. 
illusion magic so is that what's making those ghosts the einsam consumes only humans oh wow i wonder what illusions they're gonna see Okay, so you can just destroy the illusions with offensive magic. But it's probably the Einsam itself that's powerful. So what I'm saying is she'll probably see a vision of Heiter, Fern, and Freerun might see a vision of Hater or Himmel, I mean. You are accustomed to hearing her beg for her life. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, is Mystic Mike correct? There we go. <laughs> but wouldn't you be curious to hear what it has to say? Like what it's going to try lure you with? Wow. So it hits you right on like, right in the feels. Oh, it's a, just, it goes right into your memories. Ah, I called it. But I mean, it would, I mean, what, who else were they going to show them, right? Oh my goodness, is it? <laughs> is that necessary? <laughs> oh! Is that it? Did they actually get the creature though? Let's go see the real Heiter now. Okay, so now they're in the canyon. There is like, ah, oh, the dragon. Oh wow, it's one I've been looking for. You do love your grimoires. Reading this, or oh, reading this story, but I am kind of reading it. But this show is kind of like reading a big novel. That's what I'm getting. And kind of like, the more pages you start reading, like it, it started off kind of boring, but now it's like, now I just want to see what happens now. So I'm just going to keep reading. So it's very different. Oh! Dragon didn't even flinch. It's like, who's, what is that, a mosquito? Let's run. <laughs> oh. She literally could have got her killed, you know? Take on a companion. Okay. Stark. Oh, so is this before, before they left? Aizen's place. So we okay, so that's cool. We're seeing the the group build. Let's you see through clothes. What? <laughs> Mr. Stark would like to meet you. Maybe he got told about the white haired elf. So that's him. He's got the red hair going. So he must be quite strong. He had a standoff with the dragon. Does that mean they fought or he literally just had a staring competition and won? Oh, this is him. He's got a cool character design. You know, the red hair and all. A shadow dragon. Oh, remember she needed the horn of the shadow dragon? Solar dragon. So you get the shadow dragon, you get the solar dragon. There's so much to to reveal still in the show. What is that? Did she animate that? If you can keep it busy for 30 seconds. Oh my gosh, she's never fought anyone. Wow. Oh, so he was just scared. Wow, and he just ate it all up, literally. That's the other thing. She's got so many that she's collected, right? Spells. But you haven't even seen all of... I mean, it, and she's been traveling for so long, collecting so many. I mean, she must have things up her sleeve that is forbidden or forgotten. I think it might have something to do with movement, right? Like he was standing still. So maybe the dragon couldn't see him because he was standing still. Just a theory, obviously. 
So has he been the one who's been chopping through that mountain with the axe? That's why she stood there and she felt it like that. Aizen is a coward. Whoa, what is that? Holy. And the axe is still so okay well that's it right there four and five i'm starting to figure it out now i'm starting to understand the show i'm starting to see that exactly what i was saying earlier that it's kind of like when you're reading a novel or like a long story what happens is that you just you start going through the pages and even if it's boring you know you just keep reading it because you want to kind of see what happens that's what i'm starting to see with this anime is that i'm kind kind of just viewing it like it's a novel and I'm reading through the pages and of course the pace is different compared to everything else I watch but at the same time there's a certain quality about it that has me coming back because there was I was even considering like is this even something that I like but they, I don't know what it is about it there's just to me it seems like there's gonna be this big reveal and it's gonna everything that I thought the show could be is gonna become that but from what we saw was just that we saw that she was actually the main student or the number one student of Flammer, the legendary mage from like a thousand years ago that the history book spoke of and she was the one who told her about Oriola. it's a place that people called heaven where you could actually speak to spirits of people who passed on but the fact that she had to go past the northmost end of the continent to Ender where the demon king lived that's where his castle was and he saw it was all cold and things like that now we also see that there's gonna be a new companion that has a super cool design you know he's got the red hair and he's obviously strong like he's a coward but how can you split a mountain like that with an axe and it still remains like razor sharp so i mean if he could do that he could do that to the dragon so it's going to be interesting to see how they they balance each other out he's going to be able to do what he needs to do while they do what they need to do and obviously we saw ferns growing up now they said the journey is going to take about 10 years just to get there so very interesting but other than that not much is happening we're just like i said slow build up but for some reason it's just something about it that makes me want to continue watching to actually see you know what ends up happening but other than that that's gonna be it for me thank you for watching if you're watching like subscribe do all the good stuff and obviously hit that notification bell i'll leave the other episode up here but that's gonna be it for me i'm out peace in a bit.